My name is Dr. Carl Henson. I'm an adult infectious disease specialist and the director of the Hospital Infection Control and Epidemiology Center at the Medical City. And I've been asked to answer some questions about monkeypox. Monkeypox is a virus. No? Uh, it's one of a family of viruses called orthopox viruses. And it's actually a zoonotic infection. When we say zoonotic, it comes from an animal that's transferred to humans. Uh, it causes a range of symptoms, um, the, the most dramatic of which are the skin lesions, which you can see right here. Monkeypox spread through close contact. Um, so that means face to face, skin to skin, mouth to skin, skin to mouth. No? And in this recent uh, outbreak this year, uh, they've found that a lot of the cases are sexually transmitted, so transmitted during sexual intercourse. Um, and that's why uh, it's, it's, it's harder to transmit or relatively harder to transmit compared to COVID-19. Um, and you really need to be up close and personal with someone who has monkeypox in order to get it. Anyone can get monkeypox. Uh, you need to be up close and personal with someone to get monkeypox, but everyone, I think, is um, susceptible. Um, the older generation might be a little immune to it if they receive the smallpox vaccine. Uh, but at this point, no, almost everyone uh, would have uh, immunity that's waned, so everyone's susceptible already. Whether you are a child or an adult or an elderly, uh, you can get it. The mechanism of transmission, now the way you transmit monkeypox, like I said, is through close contact. Um, so if you find yourself or you know someone who has monkeypox, Staying away is a good idea. No? Keeping distance from that person. Wearing a mask is also important, especially since there's some evidence that um, it can generate uh, like short, you, you know, you can transmit it through short uh, distance now through the air. No? It's, not, it's not known to be airborne like TB or chickenpox, but um, you know, when you're a short distance away and say the person coughs and then you inhale that infected material, then you can also get it that way. Um, it's also possible, for example, someone who has monkeypox at home uh, stays in bed and then you, the, the bed is uh, fluffed. No? So the particles of virus can go up into the air and you can inhale that and you can get uh, infected that way. You know, regularly washing your hands. The usual stuff that we do for COVID will actually work also against monkeypox. There is a vaccine against monkeypox. Unfortunately, we don't have it here. Um, the, the older generation vaccines against smallpox, which is a relative of monkeypox, actually gives cross protection. Now, now we have two vaccines that are available uh, for monkeypox. Again, not available yet in the Philippines. The goal is to vaccinate those who have been uh, exposed by someone with monkeypox, so that's called post-exposure prophylaxis, or uh, healthcare workers or laboratory personnel who work in settings where they have monkeypox, so in other countries, uh, those are the people who are priority to receive the vaccine. So at this point, there is no um, word yet from government if we will have the vaccine here, uh, but there are two vaccines that are available. Okay, the, so the symptoms of monkeypox, like I said, the classic picture is you know, this, this uh, rash right here. The classic rash starts off as a, what's called a macule. So it's a reddish or brownish discoloration that's flat. And then eventually it will become a papule. So it will, it will have like a little bump 
no? And then it will become fluid filled like this picture here and then it will rupture and then scab off and then eventually the scab will fall off. Um, the pattern is a little similar to chicken pox or bulutong but in chicken pox, the age of the lesions and the stage of the lesions are all different. No? You can catch some lesions that are in the uh, macular stage, meaning the flat stage. It can also, you can also catch some lesions in other parts of the body that are fluid filled or the vesicle stage. In monkeypox, the, um, the age or the stage is all the same, all at the same time. So they all are macules and then they become papules and then they become uh, vesicles, pustules, they scab off all at the same time. So same stage throughout the body. In addition to the rash, you can also get fever, uh, you can also get swollen lymph nodes, no? and then whatever comes with fever, muscle aches and pains, etc. So those are the usual manifestations. Now, they've found that the cases these days in the outbreak um, they have atypical symptoms usually the rashes they're a lot they are concentrated in the mouth and the face compared to the rest of the body but in in some cases or in a lot of cases these days um, there can only be one or a few lesions no? so very atypical symptoms so it's important that if you think that you might have contracted monkeypox because you had, say, an exposure to someone who's sick, etc., to see your doctor immediately so that you can get the proper testing. Okay, so that's an important question because um, making sure that you that we diagnose you early and isolate you early is very important. Um, so when you think, or if you think that you get, you got uh, monkeypox, so you have a, a rash, you got a fever, or you were, you think you were exposed to someone with monkeypox, it's important for you to consult your doctor immediately. Um, there are now many ways to consult doctors. Teleconsultation is one, for example. No, or if you feel really sick, you can immediate, you can go to the nearest emergency room uh, to get medical attention. So we go back to the mechanism or the mode of transmission. No? It's close contact um, with the possibility of some short range contact. No? So if you think that you have monkeypox, it's important for you to isolate yourself immediately. Uh, if it's possible for you to stay in your own room in your house no, until you are able to talk to a doctor, then great. Um, if it's not possible in your home setup for you to have your own room, make sure that you stay away from uh, your relatives at home. Uh, pick a corner where you can rest and, uh, um, and uh, sleep uh, away from the rest of the people. Make sure that everyone is wearing a mask in the house. Um, and then have everyone um, wash their hands regularly. If, you, if it's possible for you to get your own toilet facilities, that's great. But if it's not, you share a toilet with other people, make sure that the toilet is cleaned after you use it no? uh, and before someone from the rest of the group or rest of the household uses it. Uh, just, just to make sure that the virus is not transmitted in, in the home. Um, in most cases, monkeypox will go away on its own. It's what's called a self-limiting infection. No? So when you get sick, uh, you can get symptoms, you can get the rash for as, as long as, say, three weeks no? before it, all the scabs come off. Um, and during that time, there really is no need for any specific medication. Um, you can take a paracetamol if you have a fever or a, a, if you can, you can take one of those medicines for throat pain if you have a sore throat, etc. Yes, people can get ill, can, can, can get seriously ill, and they can actually die from monkeypox. It's not very common, actually quite rare. Um, in the previous outbreaks of monkeypox in Africa, the case fatality rate was around 1 to 
very small numbers. Um, and these were mostly seen in children because they had weaker immune systems. Um, so adults and adolescents can have uh, just very mild self-limited infections. No? But it can happen. And how does it happen? Usually, uh, the patients can get uh, what's called a secondary bacterial infection. So in addition to monkeypox, they get a bacteria. Uh, either on the lesion itself, it gets infected, or they get a pneumonia and develop sepsis, etc. Um, so it is, I think, still a good reason to make sure that you protect yourself and not get the infection, even if in most cases it's going to be a mild infection. If you think that you were exposed to monkeypox or you think you have it, uh, the most important thing to do is, number one, to self-isolate. Uh, whether in your own room or in a separate corner of your house, and then you need to call your doctor. Make sure that uh, you stay vigilant. We've talked to you about the most common symptoms and uh, how to get monkeypox or how you can get it. So just remember those things and then let your doctor know if you think that you have been exposed so that you can get proper attention and possibly get tested for it.